The Oculus Quest hand tracking software update has started to roll out this week. Oculus is doing this uh, gradually, so it took a while before we got this update. If you don't have this update yet, do not worry, it should be with you <laughs> within a few days. But it's finally here, so my name is Kaz and in today's video I'll show you how to activate it. We will check out the short tutorial together. I'll give you my first impressions on compatible apps and we'll talk about its limitations and benefits. But first, subscribe if you haven't yet to stay up to date with VR and now Join me beyond reality. First of all, for those completely out of the loop, what is this Oculus hand tracking? This is a new feature for the Oculus Quest. It is a free software update that you can get any time now if you don't already have it. And the update is all you need because it uses the inside out tracking cameras that are already on the VR headset to track your hands. I already gave you my first impressions during OC6, which is what you are seeing here right now. But today I'll share my impressions on everything at home for the first time. So to make sure that you're on this update, you go to the settings, then see all in your Oculus Quest. Go to about and here you check what version you have. If you are on version 12, then you are on the correct version. If you are not and it says no updates available right here, then unfortunately it means that the update has not been rolled out to you yet, but it should come this week. There are also some tips and tricks that you could try out to kind of force this update out. But uh, I will uh, give those tips at the end of this video. And now, if you are on the correct version, then you should be able to go to experimental features. And here, you'll be able to turn on hand tracking. If you do not see this yet, because at first when I updated, I did not see this yet. I had to restart my device and then this showed up. So uh, why not uh, try it out for the first time with you guys? Uh, let's, let's do this. So I guess I have to turn this on. Okay, my controllers is gone. Can't see my controller being tracked anymore and I see that I have a tutorial and my hands are tracked. Okay, let's put the controller down and check this out. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, we can't, still can't move the hands over each other because they disappear as you can see. But, wow. Oh. This is still kind of magical, even though this is my second time I'm trying this out. Okay, let's let's do this first. Pins to select. Whoa, it's harder than you would think. <laughs> Pins and hold to scroll. Okay. Use the Oculus ho Oculus button. Raise your hand with your palm up when your hand closed. And hold your thumb and index finger together. Like this. Okay, that was a short tutorial. Let's try navigating in here. Oh, that's so cool. Whoa, that doesn't always work well for me. You have to make sure that when you're pinching, that that uh, little uh, mouse cursor thing doesn't uh, go over the button, or else you can't click it. Uh. My hands tend to go a little bit up, so that the cursor goes up when I try to pinch it. This is interesting. Okay, it takes me a couple of seconds to get used to, but uh, this is easy to use. Look at that. I like that little cursor thing kind of tells you what you're doing. So that's nice, but I wonder why we have the cursors though. I think it will have been nicer if we could just point and click or something for some reason. Or maybe just walk to a button and click on it. Oh, I see, that's that's not really possible. Let's see. <laughs> no, it's not possible. You have to really pinch to do something here. And while you're watching this video, don't forget to leave a like if you found this video interesting so far. All right, so right now, of course, not all apps support the hand tracking, but there are a couple of Oculus um, apps that work. Let's try scrolling first. Ah, using this gesture, you scroll down. And I think one of the Oculus apps that work is Oculus TV, so let's launch it. I tend to put my hands up like this. <laughs> I think it's kind of weird, probably. 
Okay, let's see. Okay, I just started the uh, immersive video of uh, something in space. Let's see what we can do in here. Ah, I can pause and navigate kind of in here. Let's see if we can scroll forward. Oh yeah. Oh, this is really handy when it comes to watching VR videos that you can just use your hands to navigate. That is exactly one of the benefits of the hand tracking. Because when you're watching a video, you're not going to use your controllers anyway. So it's really nice to be able to use your hands for this. Hmm. I love it. So you can navigate this whole menu for this. Probably just click everything in here. Yeah, nice. Okay. Let's try a different app as well. I think it also works with Oculus Browser. Let's just Google something. Oh. Yeah. It would have been super nice to be able to type on that keyboard, like here or something. Oh my goodness, if they add that, if they add being able to type on that keyboard, that would be really awesome. So um, let's just navigate to Google or something. I don't know why I'm not using both my hands. Can I use both my hands? I can. <laughs> oh my goodness, it takes some time getting used to using both hands. Eh. I wonder how I look like right now. Probably kind of ridiculous right now. Okay, but that works fine. Let's uh, look for ourselves, Cass. And, eh. Oh yeah, here, here we go. Wait, go away with this one. Bam! Yeah, here we go. That's nice. Yeah, you can just navigate everything with uh, these hands. So free, this is so cool. Let me try and start something that doesn't support the hand tracking and see what happens then. Okay. It now says controllers required. You need your controllers for this app. Use a controller to select continue or use your hand to select cancel. I see, so you'll just get this pop-up then. So I guess just everything that doesn't load, that, that loads with the same UI as the Oculus Quest should work with your hand tracking. So I recorded something before here. You can also delete them, do everything in here. Let me see. What happens if I... I can't really recenter, can I? I can't really recenter with my hands. Or I don't know what the gesture is for that yet. So they, when I turned on hand tracking, they also added this button, use controllers. I guess if you click the here, you can use your controllers immediately instead of your hands. So as for tracking accuracy, it feels the same to me as when I tried it for the first time. I keep accidentally clicking something though here. <laughs> but... Um, yeah, I think all the fingers are tracked very nicely, as you can see. There might be a slight latency, slight one, a very slight one. And the limitation right now is that you can move the hands over each other. As you can see, they disappear when I do that. As well as try to clap, doesn't work. And of course, your hands need to be in the field of view of the cameras. Or else they will disappear too, as you can see. Yeah, but they will come back again pretty fast. But this means that in its current state of the software, you won't be able to play any fast-paced games like that because they disappear. Even when I put my hands close to the headset, it disappears right now too. I can do this though, ET style. <laughs> and, of course, hand gestures, peace sign. Oh, this one doesn't work. Oh, it ha is having a hard time with that one. Can we do Star Trek style? Live long and prosper. <laughs> nice, this works. Um, this, of course, you can't put your hands like this. You can't do these kind of uh, weird gestures. And, uh, well, does this work? <laughs> Of course it does. I have to censor it now though. But um, 
yeah, as for handkerchiefs, it's, it's just very nice. It would be awesome if we could actually use these hands in social VR games, I think. Whoa, fast movements do not work at all, as you can see. Oh. But I have to remind you guys that uh, everything right now is just in its current state of software. So this means that um, it, it can be improved with updates and stuff like that. And the current limitation is as well is that you cannot use your hands together with a controller, but they might add it in the future, which could be so beneficial when, for example, you want to enhance controller tracking precision, or uh, in some games, it would be so awesome to be able to use one hand just without the controller, and then the other hand with the controller. For example, Pistol Whip. In that game, you only use one hand, one controller for the pistol, and then you, your other hand is free. So what if you could navigate with that hand and just use one controller to play the game? Or for example, golfing games, I think that would be amazing. I mean, you could like uh, use one hand for the golf stick and then the golf club, I mean, and then use your other hand to pick up the ball, put it somewhere and then just use your controller to do the, the thing. I mean, there are so many apl appliances that would be awesome with this. Oh, another benefit is I think it's gonna be so much easier to showcase experiences to VR newbies because you don't have to explain how a controller works anymore. So if you don't have this update yet, I promise to give you some uh, tips and tricks to get this working. So here, I recommend waiting for the actual update to appear on your device. Some people say that you can force this update by leaving your Oculus Quest on all night, plugged into the power and leaving it close to your router. The next morning, the update could appear after a restart or two. There's also a way to manually update the software using ADB. I'll link the post below from Reddit, but I do not recommend doing this, especially if you don't know what ADB is, because doing these kind of things always has a chance to really mess up your device. So I recommend waiting because everyone will get this update eventually, but it might just take a couple of days. And well, as for my final impressions on this, well, I think while hand tracking is uh, cool and all, its current state has a lot of limitations. It's handy for apps like navigating menus and VR videos, but I just do not want to get your hopes up because for gaming, it isn't very beneficial yet until you at least can use the controllers at the same time with your hands. But even so, I don't see it happening I mean, anytime soon. The developers are going to spend time here to add hand tracking to their games. I mean, the solution is great for businesses, healthcare or uh, educational apps, but I don't think us gamers will get to use this often. Of course, I do hope to be wrong about this. Did you get the uh, software update already for your Oculus Quest? Let us know below what you think of it, as well as if you have any cool ideas for hand tracking implementations for developers, put those uh, below too, because who knows, maybe it will become a reality. A special thanks goes to our right hand patron, shout out to Arthur Armin and his Patreon page. Another shout out goes to um, Buxon VR and his VR YouTube channel. Everyone, see you all in the next video. And as always, VR on. It should be with you within a few days. Days. Some people say that if you can, you can force this 